there was a city in the middle of Germany divided. And really hard. If you want to go away, they really shot the people. When we grew up, there was no chance to imagine the um, German reunification. <clears throat> so you never thought um, you would live in, um, in, in, in Berlin. Then the wall come, came down. And then it was, like Oliver said before, a playground. Unbelievable possibilities. It was like the opposite from what it is now. There was no shop, no restaurant, no bar. You can get a studio place for like free. You just have to pay for, for the water and the heating. The, the heating were cold. <laughs> the houses was, was destroyed half, and, but you always find an area where you can exist for free. Everybody, um, was focused on Berlin and expected something to come out of, uh, out of Berlin. It was very quick this and also the investments uh, from uh, abroad they came very quick and they buy many buildings which have been very big, very big investments. This uh, changed too much the situation. The, the situation of Berlin changed a lot because Berlin became really popular. You know, so and there's a lot of tourism now, which is, um, of course, on one hand, it makes the city even more vibrant, but on the other hand, it's dense and you don't have so much freedom anymore. How it, would it be for me to just come to Berlin now? I mean, without seeing the last eight years of change. And I think I would perceive this city completely different as eight years ago. Berlin uh, changed maybe many times. The first time was the opening of the borders. That means the East and West became one. This was the first change. The second change uh, was as um, uh, the real estate, they, they start to be interesting for investors. Many years they have not been interested, interesting. Now they are very interesting, the, the real estate. And uh, one of uh, the big changes was uh, the low airlines, um, uh, the low price airlines. Like we know these airlines, which they came to Berlin and they bring too much people. From these people, they start to stay, many of them. It's always yeah. the same yeah. in, in, um, yeah. in big cities. Yeah. Um, first the artists, mm. then the clubs and bars, and then the cafes and restaurants, and then the galleries. Everyone who, who tries to find a flat in Berlin knows how hard it is to find it and to find a studio is not easy at all. Like um, all the, the old buildings who has been used before are now like renovated or there's also a big startup scene and things like that going on with also using those spots. Now the rents are rising a lot and it's it has still a lot of creativity, but it's, it changes a lot to investment. Yeah, I think a lot for, for some people it's good to change, for other people it isn't so good, and I think um, it's best for the people who have money, and um, I'm not one of, one of these. Also. <coughs> the difference between being in Mexico City or in Berlin for me is that uh, well, it's what it's obvious. This huge um, cultural um, community, you know, like this, all these immigration immigrants and uh, these mixes of cultures and different inputs, all in one place, which is very exciting. Many new ideas, many artists. Uh, even now, uh, they are working in Berlin. Many, many artists, and we have many examples, many samples of, of that, which they came here and they get big spaces.
Um, so the new ideas they came in the last uh, 10 years, mostly from Berlin, of course, from other spaces, but mostly from Berlin. And the reason was the big spaces and uh, the opportunities they had here to, to have also the assistance from other artists. Here in Berlin, I feel like I'm in New York, but a free New York. That's how I feel, you know, it's a free New York. Uh, it's the way the New York should be, and Berlin should be as well, you know. All cities should be like that. But it's not happening there, this way. It's, I really, I really think that it's free here. <laughs> I feel free here. <laughs> it's not only about um, the quantity of galleries that are in the city. I mean, it's just crazy. It's, uh, they are just changing all the time. There's uh, sometimes I really get a bit overwhelmed by the fact that there are openings pretty much every day. And at the beginning, the first two years, it was a little bit hard for me to um, to know how to absorb all this information. Berlin, I think, is the the one now that there are more opportunities with. Uh, like there are so many things happening all the time, like performances, uh, exhibitions, like art fairs, uh, markets, uh, all all the things. And I, I think everyone thinks that maybe I get maybe I have a chance there. It uh, doesn't matter how many we are, <laughs> we are there. There is always space for one more. In Berlin, uh, I think is a uh, there's a. Uh, uh, in this moment, too much gallery and too much artist. So uh, uh, I think in a way it's really good for work here, for have input here, for have contact with other artists, but if you want to work uh, in a gallery, it's really, really tough because uh, uh, the gallery are full, they have the calendar full, they have enough uh, artists. And uh, when you want to approach a gallery, you, if you try, for example, uh, to have a contact by mail, you will. You have to know that uh, they will never read your mail because there is uh, uh, every day 100 uh, mail. A lot of artists like actually struggling here because um, it's really hard to make it out of your art like 100%. So pretty much everybody I know they do like something on the side like bartender or delivery shit or something like that. But yeah hard life. As I know many young artists, um, they, they work as a barist now and uh, they try to cover the expenses even they don't have the material uh, to pay the materials to, to do many works and different works. So uh, somehow they lose the opportunity to, to be, uh, to, to have the opportunities to, to do interesting works. In this three years it was really difficult because uh, I was uh, working during the day and I try to be in my studio every day, so I had not enough energy for uh, uh, for paint. I was uh, a bit m more thinking than painting in reality. That was also working in a way. The art scene in Berlin is very unique. All, all the artists will tell you that it's super easy to exhibit in galleries or, or in group shows here in Berlin, but selling artwork here is impossible. Uh, the galleries, they increase to something about 650 in a, in a time, but not all of them, they had a success. You cannot expect that you open like a shop because it's a shop and uh, immediately you can sell something. Uh, the collectors are not in Berlin. The artists, they came for the spaces, the spaces were there, and the spaces now they became also expensive. It was very hard to, to sell at the beginning, and now, I mean, that forced me to go abroad but the fact that I was producing in Berlin was what helped me to sell abroad. But it's not the perfect city for a uh, sell. It can be a good window, but uh, that's not a, Berlin is a poor city, it's not a rich city. It's, a, it's rich of uh, other things, but not, uh, not about money. <laughs> it's terrible. It's really hard to make it because there's a lot of competition, the prices are really low. Anywhere else in Germany, but in Berlin, you get way more money than here. But it's really, I mean, it's a great city because you get a lot of influences and all that, but the art market is really, really low rated. It's not good. It's all this part of exchanging what I 
guess it's what matters. And even if Berlin used to be more like a window, like a display of how the art is going to go, or what is right now and how we can imagine the development of galleries will be, um, even if they were not selling here, it was like a big display to say, this is what you should sell over there. The, the gallery world is very closed, so to get into a gallery, you have to already be inside of the art market, inside of the art world. And taking that first step sometimes is very hard. We don't accept any applications we write on our website because uh, it makes no sense. I started to notice that more and more and more artists were selling, telling me this, that sales are so hard here in Berlin. And then I started to question me, myself, like, what are these artists trying to do uh, to change this panorama that it's hard to sell? And basically, um, nothing. The art market work, they, it's like uh, they create a product and they try to push this product to uh, make really high the price. And this is not good also for the artist. It's okay to have an art market. It's even okay that galleries are run like um, companies. That can be good for, for the artists. I don't say nothing against it. But <clears throat> um, the problem is, from the side of the artist, if you respond to this situation um, and you work with the artist, the art can't be made like an industrial product. Then it's, it's decoration, it's not art. I think for selling like selling out, like in a supermarket, I don't have this goal. So I'm happy if there are real collectors and admirers of artwork who buy sometimes a piece of art and I have something for my artists and they can live and work and I can go on with my program. But it's so hard to get in, so it's just a big dream. After my bad experiences with galleries in Berlin, I really decided just to focus on my work and I stopped really looking, hunting for galleries. Uh, it's a little bit like finding your perfect partner. The more you look, the less you will find it. The whole world is uh, only a big economic uh, capitalistic system. And in this capitalistic system, the only one value is uh, money. And it's a value that uh, uh, creates uh, concurrence between artists uh, but not only with artists, in every kind of uh, job, in every uh, kind of uh, things that the people do it, they always feel this competition, they always are one against the other. I think nowadays an artist can completely take care of his own career and not rely on gallerists, curators or dealers. If you create your own market in the, in the market, uh, then you have a better future because you're always on a safe boat, a lively boat. There are, there are cases of artists that acquire a very, very nice and stable income of art sales just through Instagram. And they didn't need a gallery to do that. And it's amazing, I think over the next 20 years we're going to see a lot of changes in the art world. And I think the art world is not ready to, to digest those changes. I think people are really disconnected um, with, uh, with other people, like they are more into the computers or the phones um, and I really don't, don't like that. Of course I have, uh, I have my phone, I use Facebook, I use WhatsApp. I use social media as a way to, um, to promote myself, uh, but not necessarily to sell directly. Not that I'm adverse to that, <laughs> but uh, I think 
it's there for people to look at. And as, as clients get to know me, they're able to follow my progress as an artist and see what's new. We're seeing artists that are coming directly from Instagram, amassing huge masses of followers and just selling their artwork directly and being in total control of where their art career goes. And if the gallery system does not adapt to that, um, a lot of galleries will stop being relevant in the next 10 to 20 years. I don't know if if it was supposed to be different, <laughs> in a different way, I think the life goes like, like it is, like people made the phones, so people are using the phones, so, and it's always like this, the evolution or, or not evolution, I don't know. <laughs> I was curious uh, about Berlin because many people uh, spoke me really good about Berlin uh, and I have to say it's true what uh, they were saying but not totally. <laughs> I think that as a newcomer you really have to have your ideas very clear of why you are moving to the city. I mean my my advice would be not to lose your focus and of course absorb everything that the city offers and you can have your months of just doing party despite <laughs> but then really go back to it uh, creativity in a way like uh, bruno munari say is uh, the ability to connect the knowledge that you have uh, um, Knowledge that we have means uh, 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 the experience, uh, all the information, uh, uh, what we read, what we study, all the input that we have uh, in our life. And I think that the more possibility you have uh, to know people from every, every part of the world, from every kind of uh, people with other experience, people uh, that do it totally different things, uh, uh, I think that in this way your knowledge becoming bigger and you have a big growth so your ability to connect this knowledge. So yes, Berlin uh, changed a lot my work. It's very inspiring, it's very um, propitious to, to creativity, to your mind just opens here, you feel, you feel free, it's, a, it's really a free if your mind just goes free. I don't know how to explain that, but it's you just, it, it, it just like feels, it. yes, it just feels good. Look at me, I'm all, <laughs> I'm all Peter Pan in, in, in Berlin.